Okay. <laughs> Hi there, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Nemo, and um, today I have my friends over here. They are joining me in making this video, and they are going to introduce themselves. So let's start from this one right here, beautiful mama. My name is Caroline Pau. I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a woman. Well, the rest you'll find out maybe. <laughs> okay, so it seems yeah, like, like not obvious. Yeah, it seems like Caro is really a woman. I was doubting that. Now we already know. <laughs> Now, tell us also a little bit about you. What's your name, girl? So, my name is Elizabeth Karanja, and um, I won't go into details as Karopa who I am. Let's just say I am a <laughs> free spirit. And, um, yeah, so she doesn't necessarily <laughs> to, need to be a woman. To go no. <laughs> no. Oh, no, she's a free spirit. Now, my friends are here today they're at my place and we're gonna talk about some things we all come from kenya so we all came we all moved to the netherlands like um at different times like i moved to the netherlands in uh, 2015 and i don't know which year end of 2010 yeah, end of 2010 yes 2012 2012 june june yeah yeah, okay. Um, something that we have in common, all of us, the three of us, is that we moved to the Netherlands for love. And that means that we moved here to live with a Dutch partner. So I am pregnant right now. And my baby will be coming in June. So the first day of the summer is going to be a beautiful summer this year. So I cannot wait. Caroline here has two boys. She has yeah. twins, right? Yes. About five. Yeah, five heading six. Yeah. And you have two children. Two children. And the most amazing thing, you might know if you know, but the same, the duty that you have for your son is this, uh, uh, is Brianna's birthday. Brianna oh, wow. is your daughter. Brianna is my daughter. Yeah, so yeah. Too fast. Yeah, yeah fast. so if okay. everything goes really well and my boy is born on the same day as planned, then they're going to share a birthday with yeah. her daughter. So that's such a cool thing. And um, yeah, apart from that, we want to talk a little bit about how we met because we never knew each other when we were in Kenya. Even though we are Kenyans, we just uh, got to meet each other here under different circumstances that we are going to talk to you guys about. And also we are going to talk about the different uh, challenges that we have faced and also the best thing that we love about living here in the Netherlands. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So um, how did we meet? Let's. No, you guys know each other uh, longer. Carol, yeah, so how did we meet? I think she was chatting to me on Facebook. Yeah. We had not met face to face. And I remember one time I was, when I was pregnant, yes. she must have seen me somewhere. We live in the same city, Appledon. So she must have seen me walking to the bus. And she's like, Caroline, Caroline. But I didn't hear her because I, I was running. I ran. Trying to catch up with her. So you, you met her, or you've seen her on Facebook before? It was Facebook. And then we were chatting. Yeah. And then one day at the bus station, I think I, I just got out of the bus. Yeah, because she was going, you both live in Appledore. Yes. Yeah. In and Apple she was Dome. going to board a bus. She was heavily pregnant. And I saw her. Oh, I, I knew her. And I started running, running, running. But she got into the bus. bus and, and the I bus immediately went. Yeah, and then she let it, uh, sent me a message. Sandra, I message think I have later. seen you. Yeah. Did you just come from town? I said, yeah. yeah, that was me. Well, I tried to reach out, but the, it was too late. You're in a hurry yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So the second time, now that we physically met, was it for the Olivia's? No, 
you came to visit me at the hospital oh, just yeah. after I oh, have given yeah, birth. Given birth to the boy. Yes, boys. just a day after my boys were born. born. Yeah. And she's like, oh, can I come see hospital. you? Blah blah blah. I said, yeah, of course. Now the the kids are here, and yeah. can you imagine stress? That's how we met at the hospital. Yes, at the hospital. Boys was so my boys were like that tiny. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, nice. Yeah. But Nemo, I can't remember. I don't how remember. It was at my place. Yeah, I think that most of the Kenyan girls, I met them through you. Yes. And I met you through some other girl. Yeah. And then you invited us uh -huh. to your to your party, and that's where it all started. Yeah, it all started. Then I I came to meet all the Kenyan girls that I know. Yeah, and we know Carol is the one who connects people. Yeah, she, Carol, <laughs> she Carol, knows she knows a lot. lot Carol lot knows people. a lot of people, and she also organizes uh, um, an event. It's called uh, Fashion High Tea, and uh, one of these days we will talk about it. But yeah. through that event, uh, Africans come together, yeah. and from there they meet okay. each other they network. connect yeah and they network and we also do that for a good cause like uh for yeah the, the very first time we did it was for um, pamoja kenya that is for water and sanitation projects in uh, kenya i actually do things that have affected me directly in my life so it's just like relieving my life dealing with the pain and the difficulties that i had maybe in the past just to make a difference if that explains it. Yeah, so yeah. she organizes an event called uh, Mental Health as well, where yeah. women uh, come together and discuss uh, the challenges and also the good things and, you know, not only problems, but also the good things that they have, like, uh, come to experience as Africans living here in the Netherlands. Because the thing is that once you move from Africa, once you move also from your country, you immigrate to another country. There are so many things that are different and these things can end up being a problem, a challenge. Mm -hmm. And it can also be something that teaches you uh, life lessons. And yeah, so we come together because of Caro and discuss things like that through serious topics. Things yeah. that we're normally not so open to talk about. Yeah, so that is a good thing that we we know that we have a place. And if you didn't know this, now you know. So you you can also be part That's of it. something like yeah. this. Like there is mental health, there is uh, fashion high tea, mm -hmm. where it is specifically. No, actually it's not specific, but it is mostly for Africans to come together mm -hmm. and learn about each other, talk about each other, because we do need each other here especially in the netherlands with everything with all the cultural uh, differences, differences yeah. yeah we do need to like somewhere that we belong that we feel that we belong right yeah yeah okay i agree with you on that you need to see things that you've grown seeing you know like i gravitate more towards the black women who are doing things here who are achieving things and i'm like oh wow that is nice so even coming to the Netherlands, that doesn't stop you from dreaming, that doesn't stop you from doing stuff, so look at those, I mean you have to have like a, not a goal, but uh, how do I put it? Yeah, it, yeah, is, they are it is, basically, yeah. they are goals. Yeah. They are goals. It is still possible to create a goal mm -hmm. and it, it is still possible to follow a career and it is still possible to live your life the way you imagined it or the way you planned it. It is not going to be easy no. because wow. of, again, <laughs> the <laughs> cultural differences and, and the language. The language, yeah, the the language, language. and yeah, just life. so many things, life, yeah. you know, so, but it's still possible. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, what were your challenges? What, what did you go through? <laughs> like, how has it been for you since it's almost five years now? Since yeah, it's, uh, it's almost. Uh, it's actually almost 10 days. 10? To, ten? Yeah, today is the 14th. Oh, 15th. Yeah, so today is the 15th and yeah. on the 24th of March I will be like five years here in the Netherlands. Yeah, so... Thanks. Yeah, I have had um, ups and downs since I moved to the Netherlands. 
And the first two years were very, very difficult for me, especially because I moved here only knowing my husband. Yeah. And uh, as I have mentioned before, I, I moved to the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, cold turkey. I'd never visited this place before, so I didn't know what I'm actually getting myself into. I just trusted that I'm going to live with a man that I love. Mm -hmm. And uh, that for me was enough. But actually, it ended up not being enough. Yeah. I don't know if you can say, you, you can understand that. Because then I met the culture, I met the language, I, I met the fact that I needed to learn how to drive, I met the fact that I needed to like change my dreams, start dreaming differently. Yeah, we in reg your path. Yeah, in regards with a uh, career and how, how, how I had imagined that life would be in Kenya was actually in reality not going to be yeah. the same mm -hmm. that way. So I've had ups and downs that we are going to be talking about also maybe in the next video because the, these girls are still going to come back and um, it is actually a broad topic Something. to talk yeah, about yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it is not going to fit in this video today yeah. but uh, yeah we are just gonna brush along brush yeah along yeah. so we are just <laughs> Difficult. Yeah, that is that. one thing. <laughs> you excel in Dutch and your English. Yeah, you start you start forgetting your English when you excel in Dutch. Yeah. yeah so today we are just gonna talk a little bit about these things because also of time and because of the video. So did you have like small challenges or big challenges when you arrived here? Just briefly. Oh, yeah, I did. Same to you. I moved here because of my husband. He was the only person I knew apart from his friends. But they have to work, they have a life. And then I'm stuck there at home, I would call my mom, talk to her until she has something else to do. Call a friend until she has something else to do and then you're like, okay, now what? And I thought, okay, now I'm moving to uh, uh, another country and probably my career is going to be much bigger than it was in Kenya. Shock on me. <laughs> the only job I could do because I cannot speak the language is either production Logistic. Or, yes, you go logistics. to the logistics or you would do the cleaning and cleaning. that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know, just the odd jobs because you can't speak the language, you cannot communicate, so you need to like integrate and be part of the society, which will take time. Dutch is a very difficult language. Still, until now, I haven't mastered everything. We try, but th yeah, that for me was the biggest shock. Like, I had to work stand on a line for eight hours but it was also a way of meeting people you know just having an outlet not being at home and eating on my head like what am i doing here it was in the middle of winter very cold lonely. yeah because actually uh, you have a choice you have to uh like when you're going to look for a job which we're also going to cover in a different video like we uh, immigrants end up getting the jobs that are called you can say odd yeah. because uh, you come from your country you, you were like um, maybe a manager somewhere but if you come here because of love if you come here because of work that's something else we are not talking about that but if you come here about uh, because of love whatever you were doing back in your country is not going to be the same that you will be doing here and if it's going to be the same then it will take you some time it is not going to happen immediately once you arrive in your new country so that is also a topic that we're going to cover yeah and you tell us now we basically i think it was the language that yeah. was uh, really difficult and I was already used to uh, a, a certain type of work like you know the eight to five and I'd done it for like so many years and then I came here and I had to stay at home I was trying to find the same job that I had in Kenya I was working at Wilson airport mm -hmm. so she was working at the airport at the Wilson airport. airport in Nairobi mm -hmm. so when I came here I tried to try and get a job uh, in Schiphol yeah. I was living all the way in Tarwalde it's yeah. a village Why? like 
yeah. where you're living now ni more. Yeah. It was impossible, you know, like to travel all the way to there and there was what, also from where you were living was it like two hours uh, with like train. an hour yeah, an uh, hour thirty minutes with the train. Because then you yeah. also cannot drive because you no. need to learn how to drive to drive also yeah. something else. You yeah. have kids, you're already used to another life at home. You have where a you have a health. house girl yeah. or somebody's helping here. You have to do everything, yeah? Yeah, on your so, own. Yeah, on your own. So that was actually, and I was living in a village where there, uh, this town was only, uh, what, what are they called? The older people. Yeah. The there elderly. were no young families. Yeah. So you can't even say, I can interact with these people. No. You stay at home. And worse comes to worse, it's winter. They all move from their winter homes and they go oh. and live in their, I don't know, they mm. have seasonal homes, yeah. so winter time it's empty. empty. Oh wow! So yeah. that was really wow. terrible, especially for me and you know and my kids. Yeah. But let's just say seven years later, that is uh, it's completely changed. You know, you you you, you adapt yes, and, yeah. and you create stuff for yourself that you know you get to entertain yourself. You need something that is workable for you. Yeah, and I think that also happens when you meet more people who come from yeah. your country. You share stories, you talk, yeah. and you're like, ah, oh, we have the same experiences. Then you know you get a so your social life becomes more busy. You yeah. have more contact, so then the stress becomes a little less. Yeah, that is very right. It is very important if you <coughs> move to a new country, you try and find people also like you can do that on facebook instagram just go and check like yeah. kenyan community or brazilian community in the netherlands there are sites there are also pages for all kinds of countries you can imagine just go and check but you need to find people that you can relate to and these yeah. people are the people that are coming from your country or maybe from the same continent as you because the fact is that once you move to the Netherlands or to Germany, you are not going to directly get friends from that country or people that you can relate to or people that whenever you tell them your situation or you want to share something, you will not find people that can relate to you that easy. That easy. Yeah. But like, I mean, because the Dutch, they are the Dutch, we are Kenyans, we are not brought up the same. So th it is very important to find a group of people that are coming from your country or maybe even one person that is coming from your country so that you don't feel alone because if you don't do that Europe is a can be Europe can be a very lonely very country a uh, country Continent. Europe can be a very <laughs> lonely <laughs> continent. continent the yeah. Netherlands can be a very, very lonely country, country if you don't try to work things out yourself yeah and speaking of the dutch you just said like speaking of the dutch people i think one of one of the challenges also was we are used to back at home when we have we have something to say we always go in circles in circles yeah. before you come to a point <laughs> And the Dutch, they always just say yeah, everything right. Go straight. <laughs> so my first days here, <laughs> yeah. I was like, it was just so hard to accept. I always felt like, you know, insulted, yeah. <laughs> yeah, annoyed, you know, what I had. And I always used to go in round and round before I say my own thing. But that can also be frustrating to, them. to the other person, you yeah. know, the Dutch. Yeah. But it's so funny that now, I'm the one who is like that. Things need You've to be told to me it. directly. Yes, like you when my brother starts it. going round and round. I don't know like, what is your it. point? Yes, like, exactly. go straight, straight to the point. point. <laughs> At this yeah. time, you, you learn how to do that. Yeah. And you accept that you have left your country. You said goodbye. Yeah. And this is your home now. So then you adapt and you try to learn to also, like, when you go to Rome, Deal with the wrong dudes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about a little bit about uh, the good things. Just some few things that uh, you have uh, learned here and things that you appreciate. 
about here i like the way the system is very well organized i mean you know you get when i moved here at that moment i would get letters like now it's time for you to go to this place so that you can be tested for this so that you can start classes and then there are some tests that they have to do just because i'm coming from a country that is prone with tuberculosis so you, you have to get this test you know it is reminded and you know you you do it it is for your safety sometimes you can think why why do they have to do this but it at the long run i think it is just for your own good yeah and work and the roads i i like the system it is very well organized and um uh the 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 you know like back at home when you're sick and you don't have money it becomes a challenge but here yeah. then you have the what is it called there is, it, insurance? there is a good insurance where you're yeah, yeah. forsaken yeah yeah you're insured so you know you don't ever have to worry about Maybe. a child being sick or you being sick yeah the system is Education. completely you know yeah organized that it takes care of everyone and they always try to bring, you know, equality, you know, yes, that. Yeah. where I live, like I live here, like there, and then the other side is living, uh, uh, you know, nobody knows how much somebody else, you know, there is not, it is not so obvious, this person is like that high, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. in the Netherlands, there is equality, like there is no difference, or if it's there, then it's very minimal, the difference between the poor and the rich like when she was talking about going to the hospital in kenya you have if you have money then you get you get the best medical care yeah if you're poor you can go to the hospital you can go to the public hospital but it doesn't mean that they will take that they will take care of you the same as the person with money but the Netherlands has given us um, equality. We know now how it is to live as equals. And uh, the roads are just great and everything is structurized. The school are... Uh, yeah, schools. schools. Yeah, they, they follow up. Yeah, your kid was not at school. Tell us why, you know? And can you think now, yeah, it is my kid, I decide. Yeah. But like, they are right on uh, top of things. That's true. Yeah, even if it was a big challenge to move here and start afresh and um, to cope with everything. At the end of it all, after you live here for a while and you accept that this is not Kenya, this yeah. is the Netherlands. This is not Angola, but this is the Netherlands and yeah. things are different here, things work different. Once you accept that, then your life is going to be very, very smooth. Very smooth. You yeah. will start, I mean, acceptance. Acceptance is the only... I think that is the only thing key. you have to do, yeah. Because, of course, when you come here, you have your expectations and you will hit blocks. <laughs> you will hit them real hard. Because life here is different. And these people live like that. You cannot come with your expectations. Probably maybe you are thinking a certain way in Africa or wherever you're coming from. And you want to have the same kind of life lifestyle with a different mindset of people. It's not going to work. So just accepting that this is how it is here makes it just a lot easier for you. But I'm sure there are some things we also miss. Oh yeah. From back home. I think for me I would say the one thing I miss is matatu <laughs> matatu is matatu for the number nine <laughs> yes. matatu uh, <laughs> so, i miss so liz is talking about matatu those are the local buses that uh public transport in kenya oh with music i think yeah. i will i will attach what yeah. matatu is with to plan are you home? yeah what do you have yeah. to do how's your when do we plan now i cannot meet you this week because i have this and this and this can we do it next week oh sorry next week i can't you know that is just how it is yeah 
different from how oh, Nemo, are you at home? I was on the way, can I pass by? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. it's not the same anymore. The but same. Um, yeah, it is how it is. Yeah, and uh, we are okay with it. Mm -hmm. I am okay with it. Me too. Yeah, we've adapted. Yeah, you it. have to adapt. To yeah, it. and also right now when you go back to Kenya with your mind set as a Dutch, then everything becomes also difficult for you. Yeah. Once you live here in the Netherlands and then you go back to your country and you'll be like, you know, your mind is now working in a structurized yeah. way. Everything is going to be different, really. Everything is going to be different. So. Now, what do you guys think? Do you have things that you want to uh, share with us? Do you want to like, uh, you could always leave a comment below and what did you think about this video? Did you like, um, do you have a question for us? Would you like to see these girls next uh, time yeah. again? And uh, they are sure going to, they are for sure going to be there uh, one of these days again. And we are going to talk about like, we are going to choose a specific topic that we are going to talk oh, about. Or they can suggest for us. Yeah. For and yes, Liz, what did you say? I didn't hear it. If they can we can discuss a certain topic but if they also want a certain topic discussed they can give us a suggestion yeah. yes so it's up to you guys uh, what do you want us to talk about and uh, give us a suggestion that will be really cool like you give us a suggestion and we talk about it yeah. and uh, we share we talk about it according to our experience <clears throat> and I'd like to say something let's help our Mama to be here to hit a thousand subscribers. So Yay. you know, hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Like and share. 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 And another topic she's going to talk about. Maybe we will be part of it, or maybe other ladies will be part of it. It is about sharing and supporting each other as women. Immigrants in Ke in Kenya, sorry, in the Netherlands. Immigrants. Yeah, so help her hit a thousand subs uh, subscribers probably by the end let's of the Let's go! Yes, and let's share, go. share. Yes. Like and share. Yeah, please do that, guys, really. Again, subscribe, share the video, like, comment below, tell us your ideas. What would you like to hear from us? And, um, <clears throat> hello. And uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll we, see you. We're going to say bye, goodbye bye, now. Bye. Beautiful people.